That's my stuff. Disrespectful. I love this plan. Oh no, I'm good. Oh, I love this. Yes, yes girls. <laughs> Welcome back, gay schools, and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The, the Horror Bandwagon. Band <laughs> Hi, my name is Sergio. And my name is Cody. And we are boys for hard analysis. Criticism. And spooky. Okay. And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And welcome back to another Charmed Season Reaction. Today, we are covering Season 1, Episodes 15 and 16. Uh -huh. We are now getting closer to the season finale of Season 1, which is kind of crazy. I feel like this journey, just like Buffy, because I mentioned this in the Buffy Season 1 react, uh, finale, I feel like I'm going to get more emotional as it goes on, especially when we wrap up a season. Yeah. Because there's there's such adventures, such journeys. There are a lot of emotional moments in the show, so prepare yourself. <sighs> Great. And if you've seen any of our past TV show reactions, I am a sobbing mess. I, I'm not a pretty crier, so... Please bear with me. Cody at least like hides it really well. Like you, you cry, but you just like let it flow I, under I try body. so hard to just like stay stoic. Yeah, me, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> now, before we get started, y'all know what to do. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell so you can notify every time we post a new video. And if you want to support the channel even more, you can go over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon, where you can find full episode watch alongs of all the episodes of Turned we've covered so far and a bunch of other shows and movies that we've done. Or you can click the join button below to join our YouTube membership. And finally, don't forget to check out our Discord where you can talk to us about Charmed and anything else that is on your mind. The link is going to be in the description below. But without further ado, with the power of three, let's get into it. Earthquake. Another earthquake? <gasps> Not Grams. Oh, is that Grams? That's Grams. Okay, I didn't know that. 4.5. There you go, Grams. Aww. Earthquakes give me the jeebies. Would that be the Phoebe jeebies? Oh, you know, the coming. Not the Phoebe jeebies. I think it's coming from the basement. Gas leak? I don't know. I called someone to come out and check. They should be here any. Now, yeah, I'll get. We need Leo. Leo can we can just fix conjure everything. him up? Prodded me into agreeing, but the point is, I did agree, and and nothing has changed. Piper's gonna cook a feast. Oh, chaos is gonna ensue. You know that it's going to. Relax. If we have to, I can have it cooked at the restaurant and brought here. Well, let me check it out and see what's up. Great, thanks. His voice sounds so familiar. Dare I say it? The boogeyman gets him. <laughs> I believe Phoebe pronounced it woogeyman. Or was that? <gasps> oh, woogie, boogie, woogie. Okay, okay, okay. It was real. It was this, a story. Grams told you she got rid of the woogie man in the basement so you could sleep better. You're literally witches. <laughs> <laughs> Is it so hard to believe that it was real? Dude, we're going to have to be more careful. Yeah, what is that? Oh. Oh, shit. This ain't good. And now you will help. <gasps> Stop it. Oh, this is so bad. And the earthquake, of course, helped mm -hmm. open this up. I do not have a dark side, thank you very much. And just because I protect the innocent doesn't mean I have to be innocent all of the time. You know what? That is right. Bad is in destroy my entire dinner party, or bad is in you can fix it quickly. It'll just cost more than my entire education. <laughs> Which one do you want? I'll just be upstairs if you need me. <laughs> it's gonna be Phoebe. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I hate that there's like an evil in their own home. See, I already waited too long. And all my hope is gone. I was gonna say like, who delivered their mail on the floor? Was this your first quake? And hopefully my last. I prefer my ceilings above me. All right. <laughs> That's completely fair. Family did, and they can afford to buy much, much more. And for whatever reason, she's fascinated with your house, so your job is to keep her happy. Have you seen their house? 
It's glorious. I don't know. I I feel like we should get a little nervous and skeptical of anyone who is specifically like, I want to go to the House of the Charmed Ones. True. Metaphysicists believe the land to be what they call a spiritual nexus. But it's still standing after this morning's rumble. That sounds about right. A lot of spiritual nexus going on over there. Plus one, but I, I, I've already bought the... Oh, whatever. You owe You're going to have to double up, girl. Calera Jensen, 93. Last buy. Mine. Look, um, why don't you try this? It's got a robot. <laughs> Let me sell you on a different wine, dude. That has to be mine. And I know how to do this. <gasps> oh, why? Okay. Gain, but but it, it's not really personal gain exactly. <laughs> <laughs> also, how freaked out would you be if you were just like fighting with some woman over and so a bottle like, of wine? I can do this. I can do this. And then she just vanishes. <laughs> Oh God. Listen, basements are freaking scary. Mm -hmm. Like that's why if we have a basement, we're going to turn it into a game room, putting carpet, everything. Phoebe, <gasps> going back to bed, honey. Go on. <gasps> we get to see Grams uh -huh. in action. And I totally forgot that she can, um, she can see the past. No. Your nightmares are true, I exist. I'm a good witch. Oh. You can't take me. Oh my god, this must be like super traumatizing for her. <sighs> oh my god, is she gonna be a bad witch? Well, good witch taken by the boogeyman. Is everything okay with the house? It will be. Good. Could I get a ETA? Because I'm gonna have one very stressed out sister. Girl, punch him in the face. Baby! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! What the fuck? Baby, he just... It's okay, it's okay. I thought he was gonna kill me. I didn't even have a chance to freeze him. Oh, I wonder if the boogeyman is like, you need to tr get your sister to trust you. What? Phoebe, spill. How'd you make the bat materialize? Safety first, witchcraft later. We gotta call 911. No, let's prioritize the witchcraft. Involving the gas man who was checking your house. Get a little rough with Piper. Brew. What the fuck does that? What is that? Do what? Phoebe has a new power. She thinks of something and poof, it appears. The boogeyman gave it to you, I think. Right? If it did grow, I would think that it would at least be premonition esque. I smell Book of Shadows. Did you do something? Okay, I just saved Piper's. Prue is on the money, though. Thanks for my new power. You must not fail me again. You must use your powers against your sisters. <gasps> the bat was for, for Piper. Oh, shit. <laughs> what is going on with the electricity? I will say, she's rocking that outfit. Mm-hmm. Your own kitchen is attacking okay, you. Okay, just relax. We <laughs> still have an hour before... Seven o'clock? How can that be? The, the, the clock on the... <gasps> no! Oh, we're done. We're done. Wait, am I seeing things or did you just come from the basement? What about the boogeyman? It was just a story, remember? The way the camera is like lopsided when she came in, crazy. Welcome to Halliwell Manor. My name is Phoebe. I'll be your cruise director this evening. Okay, Phoebe. <laughs> They're both like, why did you seductively invite us in? Give this to the chef. You. <laughs> most, most people call me Josh. Of course. I, uh... This is a good look for you, girl, though. Duck medallion. <gasps> what? Sans medallions. <laughs> okay, let the duck free. Okay, so her new power is that she can conjure up stuff. Yeah. Okay. Terribly wrong with the house. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Call a plumber. Oh. Girl, go, 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 girl. Take behind you. And people pay you to do this? Phoebe. Okay, don't walk Sir? into somebody else's house and start fucking going off. Point is equidistant to the five spiritual elements. It's a place of great power. <laughs> 
she knows a little too much about this. I'm a little on the fence about her. I would argue if I could think of another option. What the hell was that sound? Prue? <laughs> oh, oh, the poor duck got scared. Oh my God, is she gonna bring her downstairs? Oh no. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to cut this evening short. We're experiencing some technical difficulties. Do you realize what you're doing? Yes, and- Okay, first of all, it's our house. I found the basement particularly intriguing. Beth, are you okay? Fine. Okay, uh, dinner has been- Oh, this is not good. He's taking every- taking control of everybody's body. Right? I just have to tie up a few loose ends here. I'll try and make it. Try hard. Oh, she is not having it. What's her name, Carol? Claire. Claire? She's not having it. Ask me to. Who asked you to? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that is let's it. get to the bottom of this girl. We need to. <gasps> oh my god! Phoebe! What's wrong with you? Why would you let us in? No, you can't. Yo, they threw her so hard. Mm -hmm. Oh, she has all the power. That helped. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good idea to try. And it's not letting us in for a reason. And we can't get to the Book of Shadows to find out what it is. So we know nothing. Yes, we do. Think about it, guys. You guys were talking about stuff recently. Mm-hmm. No! Oh, that's messed up. Disrespectful. I said pulled her off, but. Oh my God, are you okay? Yeah, I just, uh, I don't know why she snapped like that. Okay, Josh, do you know? Piper, don't start falling for this guy, okay? He's like, yeah, I just, I, I wish it didn't turn me on so much. Wasn't <laughs> something she can't seem to forget about it. You know, I've met people like that. A spiritual nexus is a... All right, you don't gotta be so shady like that. Uh, look, ladies, I'm gonna follow her and make sure she's okay. Now, feel free to browse around in our office if you think it'll help. Again, he's... Both of them are kind of suspicious for me. Our house was built in the center of a pentagram. Looks like it's not just on a spirit... This is like their version of a hellmouth. Mm -hmm. To reclaim the spot for good. And now I'm thinking Eva wants it back. Yeah, and it's taking Phoebe with it. Oh, shit. Okay. And Grams probably did something overall to, to protect that. Mm hmm And did you catch when Phoebe was in the doorway earlier? It was almost like she was trying to protect them by keeping them out of the house. Yeah. <gasps> oh, no. Hello, Inspector. I like to, like, make Phoebe bad. They just gave her a lot more eyeliner. Yep. <laughs> Do you think you could look it over? Sure. No, not Andy. Then we'll only have one detective. There must be a way for us to get in. We better hope so. Otherwise, there's no way to get to the Book of Shadows. <gasps> oh no, they got Andy. The house is letting him out, right? This is the only second that its guard is down. You're brilliant. Thank you. Fucking Piper, man! So good. Remember, our powers don't work on good witches. <gasps> oh, that means she's... We've lost her. Oh, no. That's it. We're gonna have to kill her. No, Wanna give me a hand, Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, Andy. oh shit! <laughs> Wait, okay, Detective Morris. I love uh -huh. how quick you were. Hold on. All right, and before Professor Whittlesey freaked out, she took a tour of the house, including the basement. We have to go down to the basement, ladies. Are you so sure? We've seen monsters and demons from the past and the future. How can you be so certain that Phoebe's childhood monster isn't real? Exactly, we are past this. Come on, guys. How to vanquish the demon isn't in the Book of Shadows, it's in Grimes' story. So it wasn't a story. Yeah, you gotta revisit your memory. Figure it out fast or we're gonna have a whole lot of- What? Oh my God. All right, all right, all right, let's go. We, we're, we're, we're gonna have to work together here. 
fantasies about how you want to die? Phoebe, listen to me. Do we really need it to be this extreme? Now I'm stronger than you. Don't forget, you also have powers. Phoebe, we're fighting. It's the house. It's everything. Piper, don't! Oh, oh God. Oh, oh. Are you... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not good. There has to be a way out of here. We've tried everything, Piper. Besides... I'm kind of surprised Grams didn't write it down in the Book of Shadows. I know, right? Absolutely, a hundred percent. We have no choice, so we're gonna need a uh... light. That's what I was gunning for in the beginning. In the basement. Maybe that's what we're fighting through at Shadow. Okay. We're there. We're there. <laughs> that's exactly what we're fighting. What took you so long? Oh fuck. <laughs> One evil at a time. Okay, good. Okay, good. Remember Graham's story, the one about the woogie man about the light? Come on, Phoebe, try. I can't. Come on, come on. Go on. <laughs> there you go, you remember now. Return to dark where shadows dwell. You cannot have this Halliwell. Keep it going, Phoebe. Love the rhyme. <laughs> and it also helps with decorating. Mm -hmm. Great. Is everyone back to normal? Like, is everyone okay now? I hope so. Sir Whittlesey was doing. She seems better. Well, hasn't choked anybody lately. Good, so you'd say she's back to normal. Yeah. Perfect, we're all good now. Sarah Jensen, 93. Hmm. Yeah, battle's been waged over this one. Not today, I'm too tired. <laughs> it's actually very nice. Okay, wait, he's a little charming. Sad that it was only two weeks suspension. Doesn't seem fair, it wasn't really Andy's fault. Well, what was he gonna do, Pete Shadow? Oh, he got a suspension for it. I mean, he pulled his gun on a civilian. <laughs> yeah, it's really bad, but. I mean, up until now, I didn't even think I had a dark side. I mean, not any more so than anyone else. Yeah, well, the important- Does she get to keep the powers that she was given? Mm -mm. Um. Okay, it's time. Every witch before us is added to the Book of Shadows. We need to warn who comes next. It's our turn. They get to put the thing in- Oh, I love this. Oh, this is awesome. I was wondering when they were going to put their own thing in there. Oh, I love that. All right, guys, so that was our reaction to episode 15, Is There a Woogie in the House? Now, overall, I loved just a, a different story, one that had to contain um, Grams. We get to see Grams, we get to see her kind of in action and add more connection to Grams. I mean, we already had like a pretty big connection to Grams before because they talked a lot about her, but, and just another thing adding to that, which I really, really liked. But on top of that, just to see how important the house itself mm -hmm. was to the story, which I really liked. Well, and I like that we dove into the backstory a little bit that not only is the house built on a place of spiritual power, mm -hmm. which is partially why evil is always trying to gain access to it because mm -hmm. it will just start to spread after that. Yeah. But also, that Phoebe, because she was born in the house, mm -hmm. has that connection and also is more susceptible to going bad. Interesting. And I wonder if that's going to be revisited a lot more. I'm sure it might be. But again, this is just a journey in, into my thing. Because you're getting two different perspectives in, uh, in these reactions, right? Cody kind of like uncovering like or like re refreshing your mind on everything that's coming along the way and coming up with new theories as you go along but for me i'm experiencing everything as it goes on right like in the moment i'm not really talking about like what's happening down the line right mm -hmm. so i think this is like super interesting i wonder how it's going to pan out um i really feel bad for andy he's just getting like the 
the little bits and pieces off of every episode just like oh he just goes through the motions as these monsters or like things come about but i really hope that they keep him along along with agent morris i feel like morris it's morris right yep i feel like he was more involved in this one which i really like all right guys so let's go ahead and go on to the next episode Oh, oh shit, okay. We got some sweaty muscles. <laughs> oh my god. St. Louis three years ago. Bloodiest fight I've ever seen. The other boxer didn't even make it to the hospital. Died in the ring. His hair is giving magician. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, what the fuck? Oh! Oh. Is that a glass sword? Yeah, this is very majestic. Whoa. Did he say he came here for his killer instinct? Mm hmm That's interesting. Doing in the living room. We talked about it last night, remember? Yes, I do remember. And I thought that we agreed that it was an eyesore and she was going back to storage. Not putting Graham's statue back in storage. So I called Phoebe and... We decided she could stay here, and last I checked, we were still living in a democracy. <gasps> Prue, you've been outvoted. <laughs> Ooh! Okay, okay. Barely made a dent. <gasps> Baby? Wait, I kind of want oh. that. <laughs> I, I need to, you know, I, I know some kickboxing. I got tired of being the one in the family with the passive power so i started taking a self-defense classes which i've been putting on my new credit card new credit card oh no girl take it away which you also put on your new credit card he's gonna pay for himself the first time i kick ass on some unsuspecting gnarly beast i'd be like actually there's a payment plan so i'm gonna get it <laughs> phoebe what is it what did you see yeah something very very bad yeah i drew it from memory Unfortunately, I can't find it in the Book of Shadows yet. I wish that thing had an index. I wish you had a closer look at it. That's what I say. We need to put like some table of contents. Because they don't have casual day at Buckland's. Wait, you promised you would stay home so we could figure this out. Yeah. Prue really likes having a like see-through mm -hmm. sheer kind of top that you just see the bra slightly. Ooh, but and in your premonition, it was a man who killed me. Well, I'm going to Buckland's to meet a female client, and Claire will be with me every step of the way. Besides... They really underestimate the kind of evils that they face every day. Buckland's in the black for years. Exactly. You ready? Of course I am. Oh, okay, let's do this. Best and brightest. That's quite an introduction. Yes, it is. Maybe I should get a raise. Let's have a seat, shall we? <laughs> Hey, if you put it out there in the world, maybe it'll happen. The kind that occupies three buildings at Warehouse Flats. We have art and artifacts from every period and movement in history. Claire is so proud of herself. She's like, yeah, she means business. 12 potato ricers? What kind of restaurant needs 12 potato ricers? Just put them in the back with the box of the lemon. Potato ricers. There are these things that you put the potato in and you smush it shut and it like has little holes that it pushes the potato through, so it makes like really fine mashed potatoes. Mm. The book says as long as they have their sword, they're not only protected, they're immune to the weapons of man. So we have this invulnerable what? guy. Can we steal the sword? So what does this have to do with Prue? One of the things he has to steal back is the magic of a firstborn witch. They're supposed to be the strongest. Oh my God. <laughs> I like the eye roll from Piper, like of course. Miss Statler? Okay, do this ha they have this open for anybody? No, I don't really uh, scare easily. So what do you think of our collection? I think that you have exquisite taste. I mean, I barely saw it, so I need to peruse a little bit more. It probably dates back to uh, 210 BC. It's very rare and priceless. Wow, Claire was right. You really are something. I love it when Prue is in her element and just starts spitting out facts. I love it. Victim's arms were held in place by a bolted restraint. <gasps> Prue Hallowell, my brother Gabriel. Ah, fuck, we got, we got God. <laughs> wow, fuck yeah. 
Oh! Oh wait, I forget that they're- He's invulnerable to the weapons invulnerable of man. Invulnerable to the weapons of man. Oh, I thought he was, she was gonna just drive into it. Ancestor, she channels her power through her eyes, not her hands. I won't make that mistake again. Dumbasses. She could move things with her mind like Prue. Now, she disgraced Gabriel during the Crimean War. She used her power to take away his sword. Oh, they even have pictures. And their weapons are supposed to be inseparable, like Thor and his hammer. And I guess Brianna was able to send his sword hundreds of miles away. Wow, she was that powerful. All right, so all I have to do is say this incantation, I'll be stronger. Hopefully strong enough to separate Gabriel and his sword. Perfect, let's do it. Why don't we do this in the beginning? Okay, okay, so maybe we should just lay low for a few days, you know, use up our sick days and wait for Gabriel to find us. I think Piper's onto something here, though. All right. All in favor of me saying the incantation, raise their hands. Phoebe. Come on, Phoebes. Well, it's only fair because we saw that the guy said, oh, the power of three is over there. So mm -hmm. they're scared of that. And together, we rely on the Book of Shadows when we're in trouble. Think about it, Piper. What's the worst thing that can happen? A lot. Those are famous last words. Mm -hmm. All right, it's a party in here. What? Multiplier strength by three. Oh, it's not what we thought it was. Yeah. Got it. Hello? There are other people in this house that have styling needs too. Is there a Prue in there also? <laughs> <laughs> oh, which Prue is it anyway? I now get it. All of Prue's memories up until the time that she cast a spell. So in a lot of ways, I am Prue. Then it is your fault. Oh, so she's cloned Prue. We need to like marker. Like, does anyone have a marker? This is like the parent trap with a bee cup. I think I might have just found a way to take some of the Disney out of her. The parent trap with a bee cup. <laughs> Uh, I'm the real pro. Okay, then you get the black sweater. Baby, what are you doing? I'm color coding. It's the only way we're gonna be able to tell this. Yeah, exactly. We need to make sure. Yes! Enough said? I'm ready. Let's do it. With the power of five, shall we survive? Oh, wait! You killed that. Wow, that is a nice tie. Nice. So, um... What did Wait, I do now? Hold up. I don't know. You tell me. Oh, hold up. Stop flirting with me. To go, we ordered tickets to the Bay Area Music Awards. They came in the mail. I thought you might want them. Oh, but can we go together? Loves good music. I'll take that under consideration. Yes, let's go. Let's go together. <laughs> okay, the us, Woka. Oh, yeah. Wait, no. Screw you guys. <laughs> <laughs> She said that if I, well, one of us, don't get to the office pronto, you'll be looking for a new job. Okay, okay. Claire! Claire's ruining our lives. Wow, once again, majority rules. Ladies. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You're right. You know what? I need you to get me copies of everyone's files. That could take days. Oh, well, then you better start now. Bye-bye. Oh, I feel so bad for her. This is a little big project. No, but you didn't even thank her, and you were so bossy. That's why we're called bosses. Well, this is you. Like, you're looking mm -hmm. at yourself. Mm -hmm. Why do you get to talk to Claire? Because I still have to work here when all this is over. Pro, are you there? <gasps> Claire! <gasps> yeah, that's not good. That's not good. That she was so offended by your behavior that she's taking her collection to Christie's. What happened? Claire. She's awful and trying to kill us. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not going to leave you alone with that client again. What was that? Hail Mary pass? Claire is the principal Snyder of our of our show. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. You wow. ready to go? Did you change your sweater? Yeah. Black's more my color. Come on. This must be such a fun episode for, for Shannon Doherty to do. Yeah. The pink one. The real Prue just left with Claire. Um, look, I need you to get the blue one to the manor. We're meeting Prue this there before like, we go to Gabriel's. This is like the Powerpuff Girls. Yes. So, like, the the main one is Blossom. Yeah. And this is Bubbles. And Buttercup is the blue one. Mm -hmm. Piper, don't worry. 
We have the plan and we have the power. I just don't want to lose you. Oh. Any of you. Oh, stop. I love their sisterly bond. I never had sisters. I had only brothers, so. Never forget the Parmesan because if anybody knows food, it's my Piper. <laughs> What's your specialty? Mm. All right, come on, you guys get to Oh my God. Actually, I'm exactly like the real Pro, just the side that doesn't get to come out and play enough. Mm. I'm the flip side of the corporate. You should bring her to Andy. <laughs> Oh, run! You cut witch! <laughs> no! Oh no! Are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm so sad. I mean, they're doing a great job to for like keeping us connected to these characters. Somebody ran her through with a bladed weapon, so I'd call that a big yes. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. <sighs> Prue. Oh no, please, I'm gonna, oh. Prue's dead. They found her body dumped in a ravine near the Presidio. Oh. Uh. But she knows it's one of the clones. Found her. I know it sounds strange, Andy, but it's important. I think the report said pink. Thank God. Okay, but we need to help Andy here. Andy, nice tie. True, I was just warned. Guys. <gasps> oh! Guys, it's time we need to come clean right now. Just dead, I knew it. I felt it happen. What do you mean? I didn't feel anything. Uh, I was in the car with Claire, and when she died, I felt like it was me. Yeah, because something inside you died. A part of you died. Explanation for what I saw. Okay, well, why do we have to come up with it? I know what I saw. Okay, look, Andy. There is no way that they're gonna just let this slide. What concert? The Bay Area Music Awards. Because the, the tickets, tickets were, in were her there. Pocket. Hours to sneak into Gabriel's estate so that we won't be alone when we find him. Prove we're geniuses. What are you people thinking? <laughs> Gabriel has this weird binding passion for Helena. So if we grab her, we can use her as leverage, a sword for a sister. Ah, uh, okay. Holding someone hostage. Can we have a word with Prue? Sure. sure. <laughs> the real Prue. Yeah. What we need to talk to the real Prue. Okay, forgive us for not wanting you dead. No, I appreciate that. It's just that we'll be fine. You don't know that. The warehouse was a trap. How do you know his house? We always need to remember the power of three is your original sister power. Mm -hmm. You guys are right. You're right about Gabriel, too. It's far too dangerous. Okay, I need to, um... Well, what if one of you stay with the sisters and the other goes? Which is what she probably is doing right now. My God, Helena. She tied me up. Uh-uh-uh. Oh, girl. I'll make it easy for you. Your sword for your sister. He's not gonna give it up. And I promise to make it quick and painless for you and the real Prue. Oh, see, you don't know who you're messing with, okay? <laughs> oh. Oh. See, I knew it. I knew that he was gonna be like, fuck her. No way, I don't care. What's going on? He's killing her. Oh God, I can feel the sword. Okay, okay, take deep breaths. Slowly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, he's gonna attack at home. Then I'd get on the horn to Ripley's Believe It or Not, because as far as forensic medicine can tell, this woman is Prue Halliwell. Can we finally just tell Andy? <laughs> I know, we're literally right there. We need to tell him. Okay, Spider-Man. Yes. Hey, check out G.I. Joe. I love this. This is a great <laughs> yes! oh! All right. I love this, Phoebe. My weapon. It's all yours. Yeah! 
Yes, yes girls. I love this plan. Peace at last. Yep, oh, too he was bad nothing. You didn't, uh, knock him back into the statue. This is why you need to keep each other close, because mm -hmm. you all come up with a good idea. Andy, it's four in the morning. This isn't a social call, Prue. I need you to come with me. <gasps> Where to? City morgue. I'll drive. Is this it? Is this the morning, or is he gonna kill her? Like, what? What's gonna happen? <gasps> the body's gonna be gone, because they are only around until the job is done. Then, yep. Andy, I'm sorry, but there is nothing but clothes on that slab so why don't you just take me home uh, talk about it and i and to you guys i couldn't have done it without you thank you and to me for kicking some serious demon butt yeah mm -hmm. that came in handy keep training <gasps> confidential <gasps> what has happened to what auctions it says witchcraft underneath it and he knows that the Prue that he talked to didn't know about the tickets. Yeah. Like, he's not dumb. Ooh, it's such an eerie way to end the episode. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. All right, guys. So that was our reactions to episode 15 and 16 of Charmed. Now, in regards to the previous one, which is which Prue is it anyways, I thought it, ha it was jam-packed with a ton of things. We, we had action, we had a lot of drama between the sisters, yeah. we had even Andy becoming very involved in everything. Like I thought there's, oh, and along with like, just like the troubles of Prue having to deal with her boss, it was, it was a lot to handle and I really, really liked this episode. I thought it had a lot to it, but I, I mainly am so frustrated with the fact that Andy still doesn't know. And I think it's going to cause more trouble mm -hmm. than we wanted to. And I really wish they would just like talk to him about it because for some reason I feel like, yeah, he wouldn't understand, but I think he eventually will get there, but I feel like he's going to get himself more involved and he's going to possibly either cause more danger to them or to himself. Yeah, I think that this is going to be like when your parents know that you're lying and they don't know exactly what you're lying yeah. about, but they're like, if you just tell me, you'll be better off than if I find out about it later. Yeah. Because if we think back to the episode where she revealed everything to him, yeah, he said, the words he said were, if I had to give you an answer right now, the yeah. answer is no. Which to me suggests that given enough time, he could come around to understanding. But he's yeah. just like, it's a lot to ask of somebody in like, like a 24 hour period. But I mean, it gives the show a, 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 a reason why Prue would just be so adamant to be like, we're not getting him involved at all, yeah. but there's no right way around it. He's the only de detective in this town. So I think I'm glad that they were able to kind of face this head on at some point mm -hmm. because I mean, you can't just write off being like, oh, I guess just silly things happen or weird coincidence, you know, for so long. You can't keep that going. At some point you have to face it. I'm glad that they're actually doing that yeah. because you can only make him look past it for so long until he starts to look dumb. And he's not a dumb character. He He's gonna have to get down to the bottom of it at some point, especially with his friend, uh, detective, who has been very skeptical about the girls from the first minute. Yep. So I'm very interested as to what's gonna happen. We only have about, what, six episodes left mm -hmm. of the first season. So stick with us, guys. We're almost there. But I feel like it's starting to amp up, especially with how this episode ended. Yeah. But guys, as usual, let us know down in the comments what you thought about these two episodes. We want to give a big thank you to our Patreon members. You guys are freaking awesome. We love all the support that you give us. We appreciate it. You have no idea how much we appreciate it. If you want to head over and support us there, go to patreon.com slash the hard bandwagon. We have full watch long episodes for each episode over there. And if you also want to have your name listed at the end of these episodes. And if you want to join our YouTube membership and unlock exclusive emotes and members only lives and watch alongs, you can click the join button below. Big thank you to those YouTube members and those who are YouTube members and Patreon members. You guys are the freaking best. But until next time, we have been your source for horror analysis, criticism, and spooky, okay, and sometimes kooky entertainment. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.